Hi guys, Daz here with another episode of my comic book print runs. Today is episode 11 and I'm going to be discussing the initial orders estimated print runs for July 2019. I've got 46 highlights and I'd like to thank Brian Springman for bringing this to my attention. Now, not always the case, but quite often, obviously, the lower the print run, the more sought after the book and often the more valuable the book. Let's start with number one on our list, House of X, issue one, a book that is really blowing up right now. Finally, we've got a good X-Men title. 16 covers, had a whopping print run though, 185,630 copies of that book. You're not going to make a lot of money on that one. Then number two, we've got Powers of X, the book that accompanies it. 13 covers for Powers of X, issue one. 167,840. Up next, one of the few books from this new modern lot that I've actually picked up, and that is Walking Dead, issue 193, the final issue. The first printing had 111,121. So uh, a lot higher than I expected. Still, I think that is a good long-term hold because we know books like uh, New Mutants 98 had a massive print run and look how much that goes for. Number four on our list, Immortal Hulk, issue number 20, which had three covers, 83,059. Up next on our list, at number five was Arrow, issue number one. 71,704 split between five covers. There was a Jay Anciato 1 in 50 incentive at around 700 to 1400 copies. Now, the number is hard to gauge since Marvel doubled the cover A's for free, although the extras were not counted towards the incentives, so it's likely in the 700 to 900 range. And that's in Brian's opinion. Number six on our list. Immortal, Immortal Hulk, that great series from Al Ewing, issue 21, 54,333. If you remember, those early Immortal Hulks were around about the 32,000 mark, if I recall. So the success has brought more copies, clearly. Number seven on our list, Silver Surfer, Black, issue two. There were three covers, 47,299. There was a Marcos Martin 1 in 25 incentive at 1,890 copies, give or take. Number eight on our list is War of the Realms, and that is um, War of the Realms Omega, issue one. There were three covers, 45,699. Now, there was a David Yardin 1 in 50 incentive at 910 copies, give or take, and that book had the first appearance of Jane Foster as Valkyrie. Number nine on our list, Swordmaster, issue number one, four covers. He was a character that appeared in um, the New Agents of Atlas, wasn't he? Four covers, 41,605. There was a Philip Tan, one in 25 incentive at around about 1,660 copies and a hanging one in 50 incentive at 830 copies, give or take. Up next, number 10 on our list was Wolverine versus Blade Special, issue number one. There were three covers, 37,499. There was a Gabriel Delotto, one in 50 incentive at 750 copies. Number 11 on our list is Naomi, issue six, the final issue of Naomi, or so they say. I gave it a miss after picking up the first five issues. This is a book that I think I can still find in LCSs now. The heat has really died down on Naomi. Well, that issue had 35,307 print run. Number 12 on our list, Captain Marvel issue eight, which had four covers, of course, the first appearance of Star. Now that, had a 32,939 print run. I think my friend Lyric Magic Moments has the regular cover for me. Great, thanks to you, my friend. Um, there was a Sh Sean Izansky, one in 25 incentive 
at 1,315 copies, give or take. Number 13 on our list, Sea of Stars, issue one. Two covers, 29,511. 14 on our list, Space Bandits, issue one. Now, this is a book I may go back and pick up. I think it's still in one of my LCSs because it's been optioned by Netflix. Seven covers, 27,581. Now, there was a cover C, Howard Schenkin, which was limited to around about 3,000 copies. 15 on our list, a big book from IDW, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is issue 96, following on from that big whopping 95, which was the first female turtle, Jenica, in costume, or becoming the turtle, sorry. Uh, that had three covers, issue 96, 22,752. There was a Sophie Campbell 1 in 10 incentive at around about 2,275. 16 on our list. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, issue 4. Two covers, 20,976. Some of those covers are striking on that Galaxy Edge. Uh, so there was a Stacey Lee 1 in 25 incentive at around about 835 copies. Number 17, Collapser. Two co that, that is issue 1, sorry. Collapser issue 1. Two covers, 20,112. 18, Unearth, issue 1. Two covers, 19,892. Then we had a book that was getting a bit of buzz on the forums. Second Coming, issue 1. Two covers, 18,641. 20 on our list is a book that got quite hot and still not doing too badly. A nice independent title, Reaver, issue number one, 17,960. Good luck if you pick that one up. That's a good one. 21 on our list, Marvel Comics Presents, issue seven. Obviously, riding on the coattails of five and six. There were two covers, 17,000. 907. There was a Raza 1 in 25 incentive at 715 copies, give or take. Number 22 on our list, of course, Marvel Comics Presents issue 6, the second printing. Two covers for that. Crazy. 16,217. Of course, there was a Wolverine's Daughter 1 in 25 incentive at 650 copies. That's a good one to have. 23 on our list, Age of Conan, a lit. There's too many Conan titles now. That is issue number five. Three covers, 16,201. There was a Jenny Friesen, one in 25 incentive at around about 645 copies. Now the big book. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I just spoke about it. Issue 95, the first appearance of Jenica as a turtle. Three covers on that one, a lovely low print run. 15,381. I've just picked up the second uh, printing on that. There was a Ben T Bates 1 in 10 incentive at 1,530 copies, give or take. Another book that's pretty hot at the moment. Number 25, Magnificent Miss Marvel, uh, Miss Marvel issue 5, which showcased the new costume. 13,847. 26 are on our list. Batgirl issue 37. The first appearance of the new Oracle. Two covers, 22,430. Up next, we've got Manor Black, issue one. There were two covers, 12,028. They're getting really good now, these low ones. 28 on our list is Go Go Power, uh, sorry, is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, issue 41. There were 40, uh, four covers on that one. That was the first appearance of the Omega Ranger. 21,289. And there was a Chris Anker, 1 in 20 incentive, at just 1,060, give or take. 29 more Power Rangers. We've got Go Go Power Rangers, issue 21, four covers. There was a 20, uh, which had 21,000, uh, sorry, which had <clears throat> 10,685. Getting really low now. And that had a Gleb. Melnikov, 1 in 20 incentive at 530 copies. Now that was the first appearance of the Purple Ranger. Number 30 on our list is a book that's got a bit of a fan base. Alvira, Mistress of the Dark, issue 7. There were nine covers. Crazy. 
9,878, there was a Lucio Perillo 1 in 25 Virgin incentive at just 395. That's a good one to get. 31 on our list, Knights Temporal issue one. Three covers, 9,768. And there was a Mike Ruth 1 in 25 Lenticular incentive at 390 copies, give or take. 32, Rick and Morty. Issue 52. I'm actually seeing one of the artists of Rick and Morty in a local con on Sunday. But Rick and Morty, issue 52, is the first appearance of Glutey. Two covers, 8,699. 33 on our list. Resonant, issue 1. Two covers, 7,507. Up next, we've got Sarah and the Royal Stars, issue number 1. Three covers. 7,496. Number 35 on our list, test one, issue, uh, sorry, test issue one, two covers, 6,544. Followed quickly by Marvel Tales, Captain America, issue number one, two covers, 6,475. That's a low print run for a Marvel book. <coughs> there was a Jen Bartel, 1 in 50 virgin incentive, crazily just 130 copies. What a book to have that is. 37 on our list, Marvel Tales Hulk, issue 1. Two covers, 6,466. There was a Jen Bartel, 1 in 50 virgin incentive again, 130 copies, give or take. 38, No One Left to Fight, issue 1, 6,399. Here's a hot book next at number 39 on the list. Canto, issue two. Again, a lot of those were damaged, but Canto has got a fan base. Canto, issue two, had two covers, 4,506. That's why it's got a fan base. Really low printed book. There was a Morgan Beam, one in 10 incentive at just 450 copies, give or take. Followed by Canto, issue one, the second printing, just 3,000. 362. Now I've said it before, there are Canto 9.8s out there and they are damaged. I think CGC are allowing for the damages. It's a manufacturing error, I think they're saying. 41 on our list, Uncle Scrooge, issue 47. Never see these Scrooge books over here in the UK. Two covers, 3,255. And there was Andrea Frecaro, one in 10 incentive, at 325 copies, give or take. Now, here's a book I think one of my subscribers says they've got for me. I hope that's the case, because this is a great book. Gut Ghost, Till We Meet Again, Issue 1. It was in my top 20. I think it's also in the CBSI top 10. At number one issue, 2,103 print run. Brilliant. 43 on our list. Cult Classic, Return to Whisper, Issue 1. Their second printing, 1,000. 411. 44 on our list, and I've got three copies of issue one, the first printing. This is Little Bird, issue, issue one, the fourth printing, 1,376. 45 on our list, Love She Offered, issue one, 1,196. And our final book is a great, great series. These Savage Shores, Nice Vampire Tale, issue four, the second printing. Less than 960, guys. And that is down to Comic Cron. I hope that was informative to you guys. I hope you have several of those low, low books. That's that's over now. Bye for now.